All right, so the next thing up on the list of things that I'm going to do today is making a bunch of like breakfast snacks and, and things that are to go that my husband and my son can take with them when they're going to work and school and stuff like that. So the first step that I'm gonna do just to get it out of the way is cooking all of the meats. Bunch of sausages and all that kind of fun stuff. So I got the oven pre preheating. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook off the bacon in there and then I'm gonna fry up the actual, like the, the pork um, cover up there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cook up the actual pork in the pan. I got the cast iron all warm, got the oven warmed up. So let's do this. So this is kind of a test batch. I'm gonna do a bunch of different things and just see what they like. And so I didn't buy a tremendously large amount of like bacon or anything. It's just a pretty normal package, so. Oh, good grief. Can't even get the bacon. So hopefully this audio is not too terrible. I have a bunch of stuff going on, cooking in the background. You just saw everything that I was doing. So the sound might be a little funky. Please bear with me. It won't last too long. These sausages are almost done. Um, so, in fact, they're almost done and I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so that should be a little bit easier for you to hear. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we have all the meats cooked off completely. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make some waffles and I'm just gonna keep making them uh, throughout all this thing just so I can get a bunch of waffles in the freezer. Uh, I have this old waffle maker that I have not used. I bought it at Goodwill, it looks like $5.99, probably 10 years ago. It's broken, so I don't know how safe it is necessarily and I don't know how well it works. But we're gonna give it a try and just in case if it doesn't work because I do want to start making waffles and chaffles and all that kind of fun stuff. So I do want to have a good waffle maker. I did buy one and if this one works fine, I'm just going to return the one that I bought without opening it. And so we're just going to go ahead and mix up one batch of this uh, here stuff. Um, we just happen to have a gargantuan, like you can't even imagine how much of this stuff that we have. We end up in, like inheriting it. And so I just want to go, go through some of it. Uh, so this is what I'm going to use. This is the only kind of oil that liquid oil that we actually have, so it's getting the fancy oil. And since most of these are in, gonna be intended for them to kind of eat on the go, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of the uh, pancake syrup into it so it can give it a little bit of a flavor because I mean, I can't, I don't think most of these they're gonna be like sitting down with a knife and fork that much. Um, I don't normally cook with this kind of stuff, so pretty much all of this is pretty new for me, at least for a very long time. Next step that we're gonna do is deal with the hash browns. Oh my, what is that doing? <laughs> I don't know how to tell when it's done. So, it's smoking. I hope it's supposed to smoke. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is deal with the hash browns and what I'm supposed to do with that is just drain it out and get it as dry as possible. I don't have any kind of paper towels or anything that I can pat them dry with, so we're just gonna have to make do with the towels that I have. There are some crappy, <laughs> crappy waffles right there. All right, I think we're gonna try the new one. The new one, I'd read as much of the instruction manual that made me think I might know what I'm doing. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All we do is plug it in. After we take out this stuff. <laughs> okay, so I think this plan is probably failing. Yeah, that's not gonna hold together. So 
I'm gonna mix it in a bowl and try and add some like like an egg and maybe some cheese stuff like that to kind of bind it together hopefully that I can get it to cook in like little patties and flour when you have this right make this work idea for this is I have all of the leftover cooking oils there's tallow there's uh, the sausage leftovers there's the bacon grease everything is in here and so I'm gonna try and make these into little patties I'm using this measuring spoon is a bit of a, a mold here that's holding together better so my idea with this is just to put this at the bottom of my little cupcake tin as kind of like a base layer, almost like a crust. And then I'm gonna put other stuff on top of it. Like I'll probably put an egg in each one and then um, add the sausage and the meats and stuff on top of it. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing uh, with the pancake mix. Hopefully that will have kind of a a quiche-ish sort of thing going on. All right, so we're gonna cook these for, uh, from what I read, it was about five minutes each side. That's some meat jar. Okay, let's see what we got. They're crispy, that's for sure. They're a little too big. So these ones I'm gonna have to squish in there. But we'll just adjust for the next ones. These are quite hot. Okay, let's find a different different uh, mold. Ha ha, can't even do the rescue. Okay. Try this one. Is this even any different? Oh, it's bigger. Let's try this one. I forgot to time it. Sort of. So we finally figured out the waffle maker. I was doing that while that was cooking. And we have the hash browns over there, got the right size mold. So I'm just gonna keep cooking those just kind of three to three or four at a time. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this one going with the pancake mix. Kind of what makes the most sense to me is to put it in here and then kind of bake them off and then add everything else to it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna make the smallest batch I can. Just one cup of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bake this off at 350. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna start out maybe like 10 minutes and we'll go from there. Like I said, we're not. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is kind of mix up the, the egg mixture that I'm planning to use. been a fail. <laughs> they just popped up like huh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um For next time, use less. Okay, so I think I have a good idea. What I'm gonna do is just kind of cut the tops off of each of these. All right. So now I'm just 
just going to add the sausages and all that kind of stuff to it. And clearly we have a lot of leftovers. Now we get to clean it all up. So 20 minutes, it looks like was the perfect amount of time to cook these. They're not burnt, but they're cooked through it seems. So now we're just gonna shred some cheese on top and call it a day. So who would want to eat that? So all the breakfast muffins are done. Most of the waffles are done. You can see there's a huge stack. There's gotta be 15, maybe 20 in there. So I'm just gonna let these cool off, uh, these. I'm gonna let these cool off completely and then I'm gonna wrap them up, probably cut them in half and wrap them up so they can just be, they can stick them right in the toaster. And these, I'm also gonna let them cool off and then I'm gonna deep pan them. And then, so I'll bring you back and show you the finished results and what they look like on the inside. We'll see you then. So we're all done with our cooking experiment and it seems like it went pretty darn well. Uh, Malika and Robert both had a waffle and both of them had one of these little muffin things and they both enjoyed them. So that's probably gonna be something I'm gonna re repeat and try and refine and just figure out how to make them even better. So that's what we're gonna do after we figure out how to get these out of here a little bit easier because they are they're not super stuck but they are a bit stuck and i think it's the cheese that i put on afterwards kind of oozed down the sides at least that's what it seems to be over here could be something else but it's not terrible but it is kind of a bit of a pain in the ducus so At any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish this up. I already got all the waffles put away and those things are all packaged up nice and I need to just toss those in the freezer. So uh, thanks for coming along with me and spending the day with me and well, spending some of the weekend with me, I guess, as well. Uh, so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. What do you enjoy doing? to prepare food ahead of time for your family. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.